What's cracking and lacking, guys? It's Josh with The Pride Productions back in UE4 with a third Unreal Audio tutorial. Today, we're going to be really quick. I just want to go over a few nodes that I want you guys to make or want to make sure you guys understand before we go any further into this. So, we're going to take these five sounds that I got. We're going to check them out. We're going to make a cue like we usually do, and we're going to do some cool stuff with them, and that's about it. So, check it out. I got this first one. Okay, that's pretty, pretty dramatic right there. And that one's pretty weird. Okay, that one scared me a little bit. I like that. And I got this fifth one. Okay, so there's five little strange sounds here. And like I said, we're gonna make sure you understand a few more of the nodes that are inside of the whole audio blueprinting canvas thing. You know what I'm talking about? The, the, whole, the whole point of editing and doing cool stuff with your audio inside of UE4. Okay, so let's right click, sounds. Okay, let's go to sound cue, just like usual. I'll name it sound, because that's exactly what it is. Okay, you can't argue with that. Double click on it, drag it over here, because you know how we do, just like with the materials. We got our, our output here, but we need our inputs, right? We need these waves, so I'll hold CTRL and click the bottom of these bad babies. And, Grab all five, bring it over here, and then drop them. Snap! You know what I'm talking about? Now we got all five of our sounds. Now, in the second tutorial, I know we grabbed the random node, right? We were randomly accessing a sound. So basically, every time I pressed play, it would randomly pick one. Well, you may not want to do that. You may want to add them together, kind of like a materials. You know what I'm talking about? A little add in action? We'll see in here. And this thing, it's called Mixer. Oh God, oh, oh, there it is, Mixer. And see what, that, see, I, wanted, I, I actually meant to show you that afterwards, but see what I did there? What happened is, with all five of these selected, if I right click Mixer, if I right click and type in Mixer here, it literally connects all of them. So again, one more time, I'm gonna delete that. If I just type in Mixer right here, it's gonna drag it up, just like the random thing, you know, so it means it'll have two inputs, see? And you have to set here and add pin. But if you go ahead and select all five of your sounds, boom. Type it in, maybe if I can. If I can, if I can spell, boom, and you got all five of them. Now what happens is, and I'm gonna unplug a couple so you can hear what's going on. Uh, I'll have these two. What happens here is, like I said, it adds them together. It's literally just layering them together. So if we select the output to make sure it's selected and press the old play button, played a couple of those sounds. So obviously I can I can plug a couple more in here and boom. Oh, 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 oh. that sounds terrible. And and might as well just add the last one in there and make it sound just just awful. Now what's cool is you can see the little wires lighten up and it shows you how long the duration of each one is. We can tell that this middle one, this third one down here is obviously the longest, but again, all kind of wires, those kind of shut off there, then the fourth one, boom. You can kind of see the duration and that, that's useful sometimes. Now here's the cool thing. Like I said, instead of like the random, you're picking a random sound and just throwing it out there, this mixer is adding them together. But let's say you wanted them to be just a little offset. You know, like, maybe the first two sounds are a half a second behind and, and stuff like that. We'll check this out. So we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna, we're gonna disconnect all these. So we're going to have to connect them all back up, but it's okay. We can add in, right-click, and type in the word delay, just like in Blueprints. And it's the same thing. It's literally the same thing. It's a delay. And you can, when you click on it, you got the details up here, the min and max. We'll set them both to one. So that make, it's, it's definitely going to be one second because you can obviously set it to be kind of like a, a random, a random delay. And all I'll do is control C and control V that. And I'll have two of them. So the first two sounds will have like a delay on them before they, before they, before they start making sound, guys. You know what I'm talking about? So what's going on now is, again, if you watch the red wires, it'll kind of show you what happens, but check this out. Oh, up, up. <laughs> My bad. Hey, you got you to make sure this is selected, guys. I'm really bad about that, too. But yeah, make sure you select the output and then click now. Okay. Oh, 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 you see that? You see what happened just now? What happened is these three played, and then you could see these two fire off. Because what's happening is these are like your inputs. Boom. They shoot straight through into the output. But these get stopped. They literally just, you press play, and they go, they head this direction, and they get frozen right here. Ex I mean, it, exactly what the wires are doing. Boom, there it went. So after the delay of one second went by, they fired off, and boom. And this one's still hanging out, all red and lonely. Whatever, you know what I'm talking about? Now, there's another note I want you to see, which is kind of strange, but kind of kind of useful, okay? So I want you to right click and C-O-N, and you'll see this word. You see, do you see this word? You guys see this word? I call it cannon tater, because I don't know what it is. So we have here, you should not call it cannon tater, but I'm gonna call it a, a, a cannon tater, because that's what it is. Uh, it's not. Okay, so what happens with the cannon tater? I, I probably shouldn't say cannon tater anymore. What happens with it is, let's say I just plug these top two in, okay? And the same thing, I would obviously select all these and plug it in, but I want to I show you how this thing works. We'll plug it all in here, make sure output is selected, and what happens here is this. So what it's doing is it's, it's, it's waiting until the duration of this sound is over and immediately playing the next one. So... Obviously, you know what would happen if I had a third one. It would wait till the first one's done, play the second. Wait till the second one's done and play the third. 
There we go. So obviously, it's just, it's, it's playing the sounds in order as you ask, the way you want it to be done. And then obviously, oh God, oh God, sorry. There's all kind of sounds happening. And then, oh, you know what? Stop it. Just stop it. Just stop doing what you're doing. And obviously, you could add delays and whatever not to kind of break that up. But if you had a bunch of sounds that were going to play over several seconds, you could have this thing set up with a bunch of delays, and you wouldn't have to keep triggering sounds. You could set up a, 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 just a giant – or, I mean, you could – there's many different ways to do it, but this would be a very neat way to do it. If you had 15 audio files here, and you're like, I need these to play in a certain order every single time, whatever reason, and the little tiny delays in between, you just never know how complicated it gets, then you could then you could possibly use that bad baby. Okay, one more node, which is actually very simple. You can obviously do the looping thing, right? So just type in looping, boom, you know what I'm talking about, and we could just grab one right here, okay, plug it in here, and obviously now, if we select the output, my God, it'll play it. Oh, ho, ho. sounds like got a little, got a little rhythm, bruh. I can, I can, See my shoulders shrugging all over that. Okay, but the point is, is stop that and don't do that anymore. But what, 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 honestly, I'm not going to lie to you. You could literally g grab all of them, you know, right click, type in, uh, let's, let's do the mixer again. And then you could take all these that are plugged into the mixer, plug, plug it into the loop, and then obviously now it's going to be a mess. And you know what you don't want to do? See what's going on here is, as they need repeated, it's repeating them. Even though, so I mean, a lot, a lot of crazy stuff going on here, guys. I mean, I, I don't even know what's happening. It's, it's looping certain ones at different times. You got to remember, this one has a longer, this middle one has a longer duration. So there's all kind of crazy stuff going on, guys. Like I said, this isn't much. This isn't real quick tutorial. Just wanted to show you guys a few more of the nodes. I'm not going to lie, man. What you really want to do is right click. And like I said, we're about to go over some different things, sound classes and, and sound modulators. So we're going to be moving out of the blueprint editor a little bit. But you want to go in here probably and just kind of look at some of the options you have because there are tons. Uh, um, um, enveloper, enveloper, Doppler. And, and don't forget about the cannonator. Uh, that thing is freaking awesome if you can figure out how to use it. But uh, uh, see the branch? Boom true and false kind of thing going on you can set up parameters just like you did in uh, materials so you can go to you can go to the wave parameter and you can you can click on it and you can set it to be a parameter and then you can pull it into your blueprints so think about that it's you know, like i said all these editors all these different editors they have in ue4 the materials the blueprints the audio they're all very similar and that's amazing that they did it like that it's all plug and play you plug everything in wire it up and then watch wires connect and disconnect and blow up and if you mess up it, it's it, you know it is great but guys that's pretty much it i just wanted to show you guys a couple things but thanks for watching just a little bit of audio work for you a uh, Last simple audio, Unreal Audio tutorial before we jump into some more complicated ways of doing things. Like I said, with sound classes and sound modulators and blah, 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 blah. But guys, thanks for watching. Appreciate you, man. Josh here with the Proud Productions. Uh, there's all kinds of awesome other tutorials, so check them out. Tons of stuff coming. I'm getting ready to leave for Ireland in four days, so I will not be here for a few days. So I'm going to upload a couple things before I leave, and then I'll be gone for a while. I may be able to throw something at you while I'm gone, but we'll see. I'll be gone for about eight or nine days. But yeah, I won't be around for, for about a week there if you don't hear from me, so uh, appreciate you guys. Love you guys. Subscribe to the channel. Tell your friends. Tell your mom. Tell your grandma. I don't care. Tell your chid or tell, tell your children. I don't care. Your kids. It's whatever. Let everybody come check it out. But check out some tutorials, man. Some of the free music. And hit me up if you have any questions. And like I said, I got a new track coming in a couple days. I'm gonna release for you guys royalty free. You can use it in your video games, or your films, or your movies, or whatever. So I'm gonna give you that, and then maybe something else if I got time. But if not, I'll talk to y'all soon either way. Love you. Miss you. Peace.